nothing is impossible to you. When we confess your name, Jesus, there is power in your name, God. There is healing in your name, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. Here we are, oh God. Here we are. Here we are. Your true worshiper, oh God. That you're longing for, oh God. Teach us, Lord, how to be the true worshiper of yours. Hallelujah. Come on, church. We unison to declare. The name of Jesus is the name above all names. Hallelujah. He bowed down. Whatever gods in this earth, he bowed down the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
Lord, salamat na tinuhon niyo po, Panginoon, ang cross upang kami magkaroon ng buhay sa walang lugar. Upang kami magkaroon ng, Lord, matinakamtan namin ang kapatawaran Amen. sa mga nagawa namin kasalanan. Kaya, Lord, magsal pa, Panginoon, kami po yung humihingi ng kalitisan upang, Lord, sa aming pakikisalo sa oras na ito ay
Thank you for your love, O God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Salamat sa ating Panginoon na siya pong sumisimbolo ng inyong buong banal na tubo, na siyang dumaloy, dumalak, Panginoon, sa krus ng Kalbaryo upang magkaroon kami, Lord God, ng kalinisan at buhay na walang hanggan. Maraming salamat, Ama, na may patuloy ka namin, Lord God, sundan, sundin ang iyong mga, Lord, kautosan hanggang sa huli mong pagpagali. In Jesus' name. They last went to Galashaw, so uh, over June na po talaga. Kaya sinusulit talaga nila yung, yung, yung mga fellowship. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Ah, praise the Lord. From the beginning po talaga of the of the service, no, opening prayers, uh, Sister Glenda, no, this is celebration. Amen. It's a celebration. We are celebrating the goodness of God. Amen. We are here because of God's goodness. There's no other reason po kung bakit tayo nandito. Maybe to see others, yes, that's part of it. But we come here because we are victorious. Because all of us came from different situations just this week lang. I, we don't, I don't know the exact situation that you're facing. But God knows. God knows every detail. The fact that we are here this morning worshiping the Lord is a testimony to the goodness of God. Kaya po every time we come together, we worship Him together. It's a celebration hindi lang po dito sa mundo eh, pati sa heaven. Sabay-sabay po ang mga angels nang go worship sa kanya. God is good. Amen. God is really, really, really good. Amen. All the time. Amen. And all the time. God is good. God is good. 
Pati po yung song, yung communion song. And just like, you know, let every word speak to you. You know, your love, your love is higher than the heavens, stronger than a thousand seas. I love the picture. If you think about it, yung pagmamahal ni Lord, mas malakas pa sa isang, mas, mas malakas sa higit pang isang libong dagat. Oh, grabe po. Wow. Anyways, that is so, so amazing. Um, so, if you remember po last month, uh, December po, grabe po, January 2023 na. If you remember po what we talked about last month, who remembers po? Me, I don't remember all so much. <laughs> I just joking. <joke. laughs> if you remember po, what is perfect? Yeah. Yeah. Ano, ba, ano po nga ba ang perfect? Yeah, I don't remember also. <laughs> diba, diba? What is perfection? It is maturity. Diba po yung, yung um, pag sinasabi po na, ah, nobody's perfect. And then sometimes you would hear my mom say, ay, pero sabi sa Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Be perfect as my Father in heaven is perfect. But what it really means, yung direct translation talaga is, be mature. Like Jesus, because He is mature. He's perfect. He's mature. Amen. So before we start, we'll let's just say a quick prayer. Lord, we thank you so much for this wonderful, wonderful morning that you have created for us to come together. Lord, we know that all things work together for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. So we thank you, God, that everyone here, there's a reason why. Lord. That there is never coincidence saying you, Panginoon. That everything has been ordained by you, Lord Jesus. And all we have to do is trust you and believe that you are good. You are a good, good Father. And that you love your children so much. So Holy Spirit, we just thank you. Come and have your way. Come and move in this place. Touch our hearts, Lord God. May our ears, spiritual ears, spiritual hearts, be open to receive all that you, your word has for us today. That we may be transformed from glory to glory day by day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, parang today po, parang part two of what we talked about noong no December. So, just um, just to to review, di ba po, uh, the purpose of the fivefold ministry, yung pastor, pre pastor, prophet, um, Pastor, prophet, evangelist, apostle, teacher. The purpose of the, the fivefold ministry is to raise up the people of God. Amen. Because we want everyone to grow up. Because we don't want the people here who are in the fivefold to be the only ones. Yung job lang po namin ay to help you grow up. Para you can do the same outside. Amen. It's never only dependent on the fivefold ministry so that you can also do the work of the ministry. So perfect man means mature. Diba po? In the Greek, it means mature pag sinabing perfect. Tapos ano po yung, if you remember, sino nga ba po yung uh, tinutukoy ni Paul sa Corinthians? Sa Corinthian church? They are babies. They're carnal. Right? And then, um, Paul also said we have the mind of Christ. Amen. We know Jesus is in us, so we have the mind of Christ. Amen. Be mature as I am mature. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 48. Um, okay, yeah. To them, he gave the right to become children of God. That's us. Who knows for that you are a child of God now? You are not a child of God 10 years after you, be, you receive the Lord. The moment you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, you become instantly a child of God. Amen. But now it's just a journey of maturity. Right? Amen. So, yes. And that was remember, po, you are Jesus on the earth. You are the body of Christ. If the head's name is Christ, then the body's name is Christ. The head can, you cannot say, head is Christ, body is John. It's like it doesn't make sense. It has to be one. That's why pag, when the head says love, the body loves. 
when the head says forgive, the body forgives. Amen. All right. Yeah, okay, cool. So, yun po, we're going to continue on uh, with this uh, talk about love. And then that um, the gifts of the Spirit, yung tinutukoy po sa 1 Corinthians chapter 12, um, gifts po yun, pero yung better way to live life, the Christian life, is love. Sabi nga ni Paul, Paul right? if you remember. Let's just review. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. It's good to read over again. Verses 27 hanggang 31. Verses 30, 27 and 31. If you're gonna po say amen. Amen. So now, sabi po dito, I'm reading from the Panada, sorry, the ESV. It doesn't matter which version, it's fine. Now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, helping, administrating, and various kinds of tongues. Are all apostles, verse 29, are all prophets, are all teachers, do all work miracles? Verse 30, do all possess gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret? Verse 31, but earnestly desire the higher gifts. Tapos sabi ni Paul, and I will show you a still more excellent way. So, ang ganda, na, ang, ang ganda na nga ng gifts eh. Pero sabi pa ni Paul, Apostle Paul, there's a much better way. And then yun nga po, you love. Love is the better way. The best way. Amen? So, let's move on. Let's, let's go to Colossians chapter 3. This is where we're going to get the bulk of um, the sharing today. Colossians chapter 3. We're going to read from verses 1 to 17. So basically po yung part 2, di ba, we know what perfection is now. Perfection is? Maturity. Maturity. So now we're gonna talk about Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 to 17, which is the journey to maturity. Kasi maybe you assist, I want to be mature. Pero paano? I love how the Lord has provided everything we need to walk and grow in maturity. So let's read. From Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 to 17, I'm going to read from the Passion Translation po. If you're there, po, say amen. Amen. Awesome. So I'm going to read now. And every word that we read po, let's really eat it. Let's really absorb. Amen. Huwag lang po natin basahin. Verse 1. Christ's resurrection is your resurrection too. Amen. That is why we are to yearn for all that is above. For that's where Christ sits, enthroned at the place of all power, honor, and authority. Verse 2. Yes, feast on all the treasures of the heavenly realm, and fill your thoughts with heavenly realities, and not with the distractions of the natural realm. Verse 3. Your crucifixion with Christ has severed the tie to this life. And now, your true life is hidden away in God in Christ. Verse 4. And as Christ himself is seen for who he really is, who you really are will also be revealed. For you are now one with him in his glory. Verse 5. Live as one who has died to every form of sexual sin and impurity. Live as one who died to diseases and desires for forbidden things, including the desire for wealth, which is the essence of idol worship. Verse 6, when you live in these vices, you ignite the anger of God against these acts of disobedience. 7 to 8, that's how you once behaved, characterized by your evil deeds, but now it's time to eliminate them from your lives once and for all. Ano po mga dapat i-eliminate? Anger, fits of rage, all forms of hatred, cursing, filthy speech, and lying. Lay aside your old Adam self with its masquerade and disguise. Verse 10. For you have acquired new creation life 
which is continually being renewed into the likeness of the one who created you, giving you the full revelation of God. Verse 11, in this new creation life, your nationality makes no difference, or your ethnicity, or your education, or your economic status. They matter nothing. For it is Christ that means everything as he lives in every one of us. Verse 12, love one another. You are always and dearly loved by God. Amen? Amen. So robe yourselves with the virtues of God since you have divine, been divinely chosen to be holy. Be merciful as you endeavor to understand others and be compassionate, showing kindness toward all. Be gentle and humble, unoffendable in your patience with others. Verse 13, tolerate the weaknesses of those in the family of faith, forgiving one another in the same way you have been graciously forgiven by Jesus Christ. If you find fault with someone, release the same gift of forgiveness to them. Verse 14, for love is supreme and must flow through each of these virtues. Love becomes the mark of true maturity. Verse 15, let your heart be always guided by the peace of the anointed one who called you to peace as part of his one body. And always be thankful. Verse 16, let the word of Christ live in you richly, flooding you with all wisdom. Apply the scriptures as you teach and instruct one another with the psalms and with festive praises and with prophetic songs given to you spontaneously by the Spirit. So sing to God with all your hearts. Now, verse 17, let every activity of your lives and every word that comes from your lips be drenched with the beauty of our Lord Jesus, the Anointed One. And bring your constant praise to God and Father, the Father, because of what Christ has done for you. Let's close in prayer. Colossians chapter 3. I actually don't even have to explain anything. I just have to talk about it again and again. Right? Colossians chapter 3. If we if we talk about the journey to maturity. Okay, let's start with the beginning. Verse 1. Christ's resurrection is your resurrection too. That is why we are to what? Yearn. Uh, verse, uh, verse 1. Po. That is why we are to yearn for all that is above. So how do you start? I desire nyo. Kung gusto nyo pong magmature kay Lord. Kung gusto nyo pong maggrow kay Lord. Dapat i desire nyo. Hindi lang po i-desire po, ah. not just desire, ah. more than anything. Amen. Kung baga, one desire. Sabi nga po sa Psalm 27, one thing I desire, one thing I will seek. Sabi ni King David po yun, one thing. Ten things, no not ten things I desire, ten things I seek, one. Just one. If you look at your life now, is it just one? Or do you desire many things? We have dreams, amen? We have so many dreams and desires and goals in our lives. But make sure it's inside the one thing. You can dream the biggest dream, pero kung wala kay God, hindi rin po worth it. The one thing, sabi ni David, King David, the one thing that I desire, the one thing that I seek is to live and to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. One thing. So yun nga po, how do you start this journey to maturity? Actually, nag-start na po the moment you became a Christian. Amen? But how will it continue? Dapat i-yearn. Ano po yung yearn? Nasa. Nasa. Nasahin. Yearn. Be passionate about one thing to, to grow up in the Lord. Amen. And then the next thing, we'll continue on with the verses. Diba? Verse 2. Feast. Ano po sabi? Feast. 
feast. Um, yeah, verse 2. Verse 2 says, Feast on all the treasures of the heavenly realm and fill your thoughts. Diba, you know how we always say, renew your mind. We always say, you can only be, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Kami po, yung word of God, line up lagi. Romans chapter 12, verse 2 yon yung be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Ito naman po, Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Fill your thoughts. It's about the mind again. Fill your thoughts with heavenly realities and not with the distractions of the natural realm. Who, who here thinks na maraming distractions na sa mundo? Do you see many distractions? Yes. Social media, one lang po yun, di ba? One, social media is one, but it's big. Yes. <laughs> A big distraction. But sabi po ng ni Lord through Paul, fill your thoughts with heavenly realities. In other translations, set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth. So I'm gonna go back. How do we journey to maturity? You desire it, and you take action with your thoughts. Ang galing po. Galing ni Lord. Verse 3. We continue on. Your crucifixion with Christ has severed the tie to this life. Ano po yung severed? Naputulan. Yung crucifixion natin kasama, kasama si Lord. Diba when Jesus was crucified, then we believed in Jesus? Parang Kasama rin tayo na crucify with Him. When He was resurrected, kasama na rin tayo na resurrect. That's why we have a new life. But it, said, it says here na po, verse 3, Your crucifixion with Christ has severed, it's cut the tie to this life. Let's, uh, let's all say, putulan, naputulan, naputulan. Tama ba yung mood? Naputol. Naputol. Kariente <laughs> naman. Naputol. Naputol yung tie, yung connection natin sa buhay na to sa mundo. Amen. Naputol. Yes. Yeah. And the connection that we have to this earth has been cut off. So why are we still connected sometimes? Kung sabi ni Lord, ito po, Ito po yung truth, di ba po? Do you believe that the Bible is the truth? Amen! Do you believe that every word in the Bible is the word of God? Amen! Then if the Bible says that your crucifixion with Christ has cut off the tie to this life, then why does it look like sometimes nakahawak pa rin tayo sa buhay ng mundo? I'm talking to myself, Jim Paul. So hear me out. But the truth is, the ultimate, absolute truth is that naputol na, namatay at nabuhay ulit si Lord. Hindi para bumalik tayo sa mga Para tayo mabu mamuhay sa panibagong buhay. That's, the, that's exactly why Jesus came. And now, sabi po dito, and now your true life is hidden away in God, in Christ. Ang ganda ng ng word na ginamit dito, hidden away in God, in Christ. So every time we try to live our own life, nilalabas natin yung ulo natin at nagiging target tayo ng kalaban. Pero if we remember, ay, nakatago pala ako ni Lord. Safe tayo. But the moment we say, kaya ko to, we come back out again. Ayun, yung ulo niya! Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> but that's that's exactly what happens when you the moment you step out of Christ, the moment you step out on your own strength, I can do this, I can do this. Lord, wait now. Then the, that's the moment your head comes out and becomes a clear, so good target for the enemy. What's in your head? Your mind. And now, sabi po dito, and now your true life is hidden away in God and Christ. And as Christ himself is seen for who he really is, 
who you really are will also be revealed. Wow. For you are now one with him in his glory. In this world po, ang daming identity crisis. Pati nga po, hanggang 50 years old, they still don't know who they are in Christ. There are many people, I've, I've watched some clips po, now they still think maybe at 25 years old, 30 years old, they think they're like a dog. They, they actually think that they're a dog. Or they actually think that they're an object. I mean, they're so confused with who, they don't know who they are. That, ano lang pwedeng mag, mag, maging sila, sila yun yun na lang. Parang, ang kit ng dog, o dog na lang ako. It's that bad in this world today. But God says, as Christ himself is seen, because we're nakatago tayo kay Lord, right? And as Christ himself is seen for who he really is, who you really are will also be revealed. So if you want to know who you really are, hide in Christ. Stay in Christ. Because your identity is in Christ. It's not in this world. It's not in what the world says. Many times po kasi, kung hindi natin alam kung sino tayo, pag sinabi ng mundo, uh, bad luck ka eh. O bad luck nga. O, kasi parang sa lahat na pinupuntahan ko, laging may pasama na nangyayari. O nga, no bad luck ako. You believe immediately because you don't know who you are. But if you know who you are, no matter what they say, no, I'm a blessing. Amen. I walk around because God, I walk in this earth because God has a purpose. Amen. God is using me to be the light. Amen. If you know who you are, don't let the world label you. Ay, chismosa ka eh. Oo nga, no? Alam mo sinasabi niyo, oo nga. Mahitis ako. Marisol, Maricar. No, don't be labeled by the world. Kasi, yun ang trending eh. Kung ano mang trending, dun-dun tayo eh, minsan eh. Pero wag po. Wag po. So that's gogole. You'll see later what the Bible says about mga words. <laughs> Anyways, verse 5. And so verse 4 pa po, sorry. For you are now one with him in his glory. Ang galing po. Wow. The moment you become a Christian, the moment you receive Jesus, you're not just hiding in Christ, but you are one with him. In his glory. Amen. So verse 5 po. Um, ang, 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 ang beautiful po. Kasi mahal na mahal ni Paul yung mga taga-Colossians. At Colossae. He pinpoints everything. Right? Verse 5. Live as one who died. Mamuhay tayo as if namatay tayo. Sa mga, sa mga na po. To every form of sexual sin and impurity. Live as one who died to diseases. What? What? Really? Including and in desires for forbidden things. Ano po yung mga forbidden things? Mga magic. Yung mga things that walang mga walang sense. Walang katuturan. What else? Including the desire for wealth. Because even the desire for wealth is the essence of idol worship. It cuts straight to the bones. It, 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 it shines the light on every dark place in our lives. Why, is it, why does the Bible say, why does Paul say, live as one who has died? Because our old self is dead. Kaya mamuhay tayo na parang namatay na tayo sa mga ganun yung bagay na desires. So when a, when a temptation starts to come, like, you like this, remember you like this? What do you do? No, that's dead already. I don't know who that person is. Who's that? That's not me. Because I'm already dead to every sexual sin, to every impurity, to all the diseases, to all desires, to all forbidden things, including the desire for wealth. 
verse 6. Because when you live in these vices, you ignite the anger of God against these acts of disobedience. You know, acts, okay? It's a God hates the things that we do, but He loves us. Okay? The sin. He hates the sin. Verses 7 to 8. That's how you once behave. Diba po, declare ni Paul, yun kayo dati. That's how you once in the past behaved. Characterized by your evil deeds. But now, now, what matters is now. It's time to eliminate them from your lives once and for all. Ano po yung mga dapat eliminate? Anger, fits of rage, all forms of hatred, cursing, filthy speech, and lying. Actually po, gossip is filthy speech. Hindi lang po mga green green stuff is filthy. But even gossip is filthy. Yes. Huh. All the Mari Maris. <laughs> filthy. <laughs> All the Maris. It's isn't it better to just speak what God would say? Amen. Amen. Yeah, po, I don't know if you remember with the last month, but the two things, the two signs of a mature Christian are their thoughts and their speech. Kasama din yung actions. But that's why tina target po ni Paul dito yung isip at yung salita at yung gawa. So that's why it's 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 important to remember that's how you once were, but now it's different. Now it's different. I am not a cursor anymore. I don't curse anymore. I don't hate anymore. I don't hold grudges anymore. I'm not offended all the time anymore. Because that's how I once was. Verse 10. I told, so sorry po. Lay aside your old Adam self with its masquerade and disguise. Amen. Verse 10. So sabi ko dito, lay, off, lay aside your old Adam self. Because now we are new creation in Christ. Verse 10. For you have acquired new creation life which is continually being renewed into the likeness of the one who created you. So think, look at this po, continually. So you don't think po na, Wow, ngayon, well, hindi ako na-offend ngayong month na to. Praise the Lord. Tapos naging confident kayo dun. Hindi na ako ma-offend. Tapos when you're actually being confident in yourself. But God is continually. So next month, if you're not careful, you might get offended again if you're not careful. Remember that God is continually. You cannot say na, ah, nandito, okay na ako. Hindi na ako ma-offended forever. And then, and then go back to your old ways. No. Because God is continually, continually renewing you into the likeness of Jesus. It never stops, mga kapatid, okay? Even po, yung 80 years old na preacher na nagpe-preach ng 50 years, Continually being renewed pa siya. Yes. Amen. Yes, I agree. Maybe he's more wise. He has more experience. But he is also, or she is also being renewed daily. Yes. Tayo rin po. Amen. Ang ganda po. Tapos, um, verse 11. In this new creation life, your nationality makes no difference. Wow. So good. I know we're all Filipinos. Maybe with some some Chinese or different kinds of um, ethnicities or nationalities. But it doesn't even matter. But diba, you see how the world has conditioned our minds? May dividing walls lag it. But in Christ, all the walls are broken. Your nationality makes no difference. Your ethnicity, hindi na po nationality. Pati ethnicity, Visaya man, or, or Ilocano man, or it doesn't even make a difference. So good. Hindi lang po ethnicity, education, economic status, makes no difference in the Lord. 
God could use the lowest of the low, even more than the highest of the high. It doesn't matter because it's all one in Christ. Because all that matters is sino? Christ. Kaya po, if you're, if ever you feel insecure about your status as maybe maybe you didn't finish college or you didn't finish high school, don't be. Because God can use you. God can use anyone. It makes no difference na po eh. Amen? Verse 12. Now we're gonna talk about the family of God here. Because, di ba, sabi ni Lord, they will know you by your love. They will know you are my disciples by your love. So, verse 12. Let's read it together. One, two, three. You are always and dearly loved by God. So robe yourselves with virtues of God since you have been divinely chosen to be holy. Be what? Be merciful as you endeavor to understand others and be compassionate, showing kindness to our eternal. Be gentle and humble unoffendable in your patience with us. Yes. Let's, think, let's take some time to think now of anyone in this church or in your family, just anyone that you need to display this to. That you're finding it hard to display. You're finding it hard to be merciful. You're finding it hard to be understanding and compassionate. And showing kindness, you're finding it hard na hindi ma offend. Think of someone and pray and ask God. If there's anyone, kung wala, praise the Lord. Kung meron, praise the Lord because this is a time that God will use para ma reconcile. Amen. But God wants us to be merciful, amen? To show kindness, to be compassionate, to be gentle and humble. And unoffendable. Verse 13, po, let's go to verse 13. Again, about the family of faith. Let's read together. Uh, verse 13. I'll just read together. Mm. Thanks, Borja. Casey, appreciate your help. Kasi po, if we don't love each other, how will the world know? How will the world know about Jesus if we don't love each other? So verse 13, let's read together. Tolerate the weaknesses of those in the family of faith, forgiving one another in the same way you have been graciously forgiven by Jesus Christ. If you find fault with someone, release the same gift of forgiveness to them. Is it super clear po? Grabe po, it's clearer than clear. Forgiving one another in the same way you have been graciously forgiven by Jesus Christ. At ito po ay hindi after three weeks. This is you forgive the moment that you're offended. Agad-agad. Because you, why? We are to do that because Jesus also graciously forgave us. So who are we to not forgive our brother or sister? Let's move on to verse 14, bro. Awesome, thank you. Let's read it together for love. One, two, three. For love is supreme and must flow through each of these virtues. Love becomes the mark of true maturity. Stop there. So, everything that we talked about po, ano po sabi? Love must flow. Love must flow. You can forgive, but without love. You can, you can be gentle, you can be humble. Appearing humble, appearing gentle, but without love. But ano po sabi dito? Love must flow. In everything that you do, love must flow through each of these 
virtues. Bakit po? Because love is the mark of true maturity. In other translations nga po, love is the bond of perfection. You see how perfection and maturity are interchanged? Love becomes the mark of true maturity. Church, let's grow up. Actually, we're, you know, to be honest, I feel the love in this church. Amen. We love each other. Amen. And I feel that and I know it and I see it. Let's spread it. Amen. Let's spread the love that God has put in us. Verse 15, po. Let your heart, let's read together. Let your heart be always guided by the peace of the anointed one who called you to peace as part of his one body and always be thankful. Amen. Ang, ang sabi yung meaning po, di ba, yung let your heart always be, be always guided. Yung sa footnotes po, it, it's a translation sa Greek, it means let peace be the umpire of your minds. Ano po yung umpire? Yung umpire po yung nag yung nagda-direct sa game, sa baseball game, football game, sila nagda-direct on dapat gawin ng mga players. So let peace be the one directing your thoughts. Wag po yung worry, wag po yung fear, wag po yung anxiety ang mag-direct ng thoughts natin. But let it be peace. And always be thankful and guided. That also, and always be guided, and always be, and the next always be thankful. We are to be guided by the peace of Jesus, who called us to peace, and we are to always be thankful. Are you always thankful? Yes. If you think about it now, sometimes at that moment, it doesn't feel like a thankful situation. But we must always be thankful. Always be grateful. And then verse 16. What is one of the things we must do on the road to maturity? Let's read together verse 16. Let the word of Christ live in you richly, flooding you with all wisdom. Apply the scriptures as you teach and instruct one another with the songs and with festive praises and with the prophetic songs given to you spontaneously by the Spirit. So sing to God with all your hearts. Wow, I love it. You have the word and then you have music. You have word and then you have songs. Because pag overflowing na kayo sa word ni Lord, ang lalabas lang sa inyo ay praise, thanksgiving, Sabi nga po dito, instructing one another. In other versions, encouraging one another with psalms and festive praises. But it says here, so, so umpisa ng verse 16, Let the word of Christ live in you richly. Wow. Kasi we can read the word of God, pero hindi siya nag-grow. Hindi siya nagiging richly growing in us. So, when you read the word of God po, Anong dapat natin gawin? Mag-read lang. Meditate. Namnamin. Ang sarap po. Can you imagine um, reading through just verses 12 or, you know, and just saying, just thinking about those verses. Can you imagine? Lord, I'm so loved by you. Imagine. I'm so loved by you. Thank you, Lord, for loving me unconditionally. Thank you, Lord, for giving me new life. Imagine you just spend your time thinking about that. How big is your problem now? Because, mga kapatid, God is bigger. God is bigger than anything you're facing. That is the absolute truth. Your problems are in Christ. So everything that is in Christ is already solved. Nothing is bigger than God. Nothing and no one is bigger than God. So when you when you meditate on the Word of God and you let the Word of God dwell in you richly, 
you begin to transform your thoughts, you begin to transform your words, hindi na lumalabas yung filthy words, hindi na lumalabas yung cursing, ano na lumalabas? Psalms, hymns, praises, songs. Imagine, sa sobra niyong in love kay Lord, sa sobra niyong overwhelmed sa pagmamahal ni Lord. Pang nabangga yung tone niyo, yung paa niyo. Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! Hindi na, hakis! The difference. The, out, the overflow of your mouth will be praises. But it doesn't make sense, eh. See, like, nag, 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 tutugo na yung paa niyo. Praise pa rin dumalabas. It doesn't make sense. But that's Jesus. When he was being nailed to the cross, anong lumabas sa bibig ng Lord? Father, forgive them. For they don't know what they do. When as he was being nailed to the cross, they were mocking him. They were gambling with his clothes. But what came out of his mouth was still love and forgiveness and grace. Wow. And then verse 17. Parang ito yung parang closing ng passage na to. And there's more sa chapter 3. But just to parang closing uh, remarks. Let's read together. Let every activity of your lives and every word that comes from your lips be drenched with the beauty of our Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, and bring your constant praise to God the Father because of what Christ has done for you. Let every activity and let every word be drenched. Ano yung drenched? Mababad. Drenched. Mababad sa kagandahan ng Panginoong Yesus natin. If you want your words and activity of your life to be nakababad, nakadrenched sa beauty ni Lord, that means you have to know the beauty of the Lord. Amen. You have to know and see gaze at the beauty of our Lord Jesus all day, every day. And we're in the process. Amen. But there's moments na you just sit down and you just think about God and all His goodness. And you're like, God, you know, are there moments that you have like that? You're thinking about how good God is and nothing is hidden from him. He loves me. Even though he knows me, but he loves me. He knows my insides, my outsides, everything about me, but he still loves me the same. Jesus loves us with an unconditional love. So when he asks us and when he commands us to do this, we do it in love also. Amen. Kaya po, when you say journey to perfection, journey to maturity, let's, of course the whole Bible is there, but let's take this passage into heart. Where it says, love becomes the mark of true maturity. Let's believe that. Let's actually walk it out. Because all the gifts, all the fruits, are in love. Nasa love po yun eh. You can't say, I'm patient, but I'm not humble. It doesn't make sense. I'm patient, but I'm not kind. No. All in one po yun. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. They're all in love. They're all one in love. We cannot separate them. Because when you are patient with someone, you are kind to them. Yeah. And bring your constant praise to God the Father because of what Christ has done for you. Again, 
constant, continually, non-stop. Don't give up, mga kapatid. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Be consistent. Hold on to the Word of God. Never stop trusting Him. Never stop reading His Word. Lagi tayo magbabad. Don't forget your devotional. Kasi po, back to normal na lahat eh. Di ba po? Praise the Lord. God is good. It's our prayer na. We can travel na. Back to normal na po. But don't let that distract you. Keep holding on. Keep holding on. Keep your intimate time, your one-on-one -on -one devotion with God. Keep that. Keep praying. Praying for the church. Praying for the brethren. Praying for um, the world. Keep praying. Keep doing the, 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 the basics. Let this be an encouragement, but also a warning. Warning sounds good. But, but basta po, just keep sticking to the basics. Don't be so overwhelmed by, Ay, maka uwi na ako, that you forgot. I said that that's what happened with me po eh. Noong December po, di ba po, um, hindi na plano po eh. Talagang last minute lahat. And to the point where I got so excited with this trip that I got overwhelmed. Medyo hindi ako nag-read ng word. Medyo hindi ako nag-pray. Medyo hindi ako na. Then I felt, bakit ako pagod na pagod? Bakit parang, parang everything's not going right? Parang, what? It's because I veered off the path. Even though everything that was happening was beautiful and amazing, but kung hindi pa rin tayo connected, hindi pa rin kompleto, hindi pa rin buo. Because the ultimate connection, the ultimate way that we feel cool and connected and complete is if we're connected to Jesus. If you lose that connection, Jesus is always connected to you. Always. But sometimes we are, we, dis, we cut our connection with, with the Lord by our choice. But if we choose constantly, daily, um, uh, constantly, continually, if we continue to just stay in this um, rhythm, itong beat, yeah. never going off beat, you know, with the Lord. In sync tayo ni Lord. Ang saya. Kahit chaos, kahit bagyo ang nangyayari sa paligid natin. Ah, Jesus, Jesus, how I love thee. Still the same. High or low, basta kay Lord. Amen. Roller coaster, basta kay Lord. Amen. Kahit roller coaster ang buhay, basta kay Lord, parang smooth ride. Amen. The only reason why nagiging hot roller coaster is because hindi nakahang lang tayo. But if we're actually with the Lord, kasama natin si Lord, nakaupo. It's nice. We're not just like holding on, Lord, ang hirap, Lord, gusto na mag, gusto mo na mag give up, Lord. No, just stay. Stay with the Lord. Amen? Praise the Lord. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Church, you are perfect. Amen. So stay in that road to maturity and perfection. Amen. Amen. God is so amazing and he loves you all. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you thanks for this wonderful morning. And Lord, we thank you that you are love. We thank you that you are love and you live inside of us. So we can love too. We are loved too. And Lord, we thank you that we will continue to want to desire, we desire to know you more. We will continue to go on this road of transformation to renewing our mind, to renewing our speech, to every activity of our lives, Lord God. Let it be drenched. Let it be soaked in your beauty, Lord. Everything that we do is for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hindi ko natatanungin ang lahat kung tayo ay blessed dahil lagi tayo ang blessed. Amen. Ngayon naman ay...
puntong at ganun din sa kalang siya, Lord Jesus. Lagi namin, Lord, uh, tinataas sa iyo ang gawain doon, Lord Jesus. Dahil, Lord, ginagamit mo mightily. Kahit sila doon, Lord, ay mga murang edad, Panginoon, but they, Lord, devote themselves, Lord Jesus. Nagpapagamit sila sa iyo, Panginoon, mightily. And alam namin, Lord God, na i-direct mo sila, Lord. At Lord, papalakasin mo sila spiritually, physically, emotionally, Lord Jesus. Lalo na, Panginoon, sa mga nangunguna doon. At higit din sa mga members, Lord, na lagi na dinadala mo doon, Panginoon. Hallelujah. And dito, Lord, maraming salamat sa mga buhay ng uh, mga kapatiran ko, Lord, na patuloy, Panginoon, faithful sa iyo, Lord Jesus, in terms of our financial, Lord Jesus. At dahil, at Lord, at maraming salamat sa knowledge, Lord God, na um, tinatangin mo sa puso namin, Lord God. And Lord, na lumalawak ang aming pagtintindi, Lord, for getting you more, Lord Jesus, and for, Lord, how to live a Christian life, Lord Jesus. How to live a life of um, Jesus the believer, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And Lord, sa aming mga amo, Lord God, maraming salamat at ginagamit mo sila, Panginoon. Nagdaluyan, Lord, ng pagpapala at ibig sa lahat. Lord, ang tagaingat yaman. Thank you for the divine help na lagi mong ipinagkakaloos sa kanya, Panginoon. Sa wisdom, Lord, divine wisdom, sa paghandle ng salapin. Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. You are our everything, Lord. You are our Jehovah Jireh. Lagi ang namin binig-declare, Lord Jesus, sa buhay namin, Lord, because you are in the our Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Meron po bang gustong magpa, magbigay ng pasasalamat sa Panginoon? Testimony, wala pong nagpabuk. Wala. So lahat po tayo blessed. Amen. Ay, hindi yata. Amen. Bakit para may naglalaka? Masyadong overwhelmed kayo no, sa preaching ni Pastora na nakaganda, di ba? So talaga ang kailangan po nating magmature. Amen. Matured. Hindi lang po kay Lord, pati po sa ating sarili. Amen! So, uh, wala po tayong mga bagong balita kasi wala naman po kami na pag-usapan last Sunday. <laughs> Dahil po lang po kami. So, yung pa rin po yung ating announcement, the same, yung 23rd ng January, ng January pre day, kung sino po ang gustong umalis, pumunta ko saan, you are free, but be safe. Tapos, open pa din po ang paid house. Second day, yung ating uh, evangelism at saka premium showing sa afternoon. So, invite your friends. Dalawin kayo ng snacks nyo. Okay, thank you lang po yan. Libre po yung, ano, yung movie. Libre. Wala pong bayad yan. Kaya, upo lang kayo dyan at magpukot-kot-kot-kot ng inyong snacks at saka popcorn. Doon sa may IPN, may kasat na popcorn. Hindi po ako pinabayaran doon na. At yung third day po ng Chinese New Year, yun po yung prayer meeting. We believe po na, and we encourage everyone po na maka-attend. Siyempre po, wala po yung Tagonzales, so we hope po na lahat ng kapatiran, although na wala po sila, makikiisa pa rin po tayo sa prayer and fasting. But sad to say po, marami naman po kayo dito, kasi wala din po ako, kasi may work po ako. I work, but I believe everyone naman po ay a-attend ng prayer and meeting para po maka-experience din kayo know how to pray. <laughs> Tapos po yung mga ibang uh, stationary holiday, I'm sure na yun, April na yun, April, May, June, yun na. So, doon na yun. Wala lang tayo ng, eh, ng, ng February at March, wala tayo stationary doon. Ngayon po, yung mga ibang mga gagawin natin, sa susunod na lang po natin, mahal nyo, di ba? Gusto nyo mag- Trip to Macau, yeah. diba? Oh. Open na po ang Macau. Open na, open na sila. Pero, advice ko nga po, yung mga gusto pumunta ng Macau during Chinese New Year, please, mag-Hong Kong na lang kayo. Masasayang po ang oras nyo, believe me. Lalo ngayon, kau-open lang po ng border, nasa news ang dami-dami-daming tao. Lalo pa nga po Chinese New Year yan. Hindi po talaga advisable ang Chinese New Year na pupunta kayo ng Macau. 
Okay? Advice ko lang po. Pero kung gusto niya pa rin pumunta? Oo. Sa akin lang tayo. Kailangan po, ano lang pa lang, nandun na kayo sa border. Tapos pagbalik, alas 12 ng gabi, siguro wala na pong mga tao niya. Yan. Ang hirap pong pumila ng napakatagal. Kasi po, Hong Kong to Macau, open. China to Macau, open. So, ilang-ilang ang ano, ilang tao yung mga pupunta. Kasi sa ano po talaga sa hotel, pool kami, puli po kami, puro. Mm, yun. Puro po ganun yung mga nagpupunta dito. Yan na yung mga, yung mga shopping, shopping na naman nila. Yes. Mga shopping, shopping nila. Yung mga expensive, yun yung mga signature. Kaya po, yun po, higat-higat lang din po tayo. Kaya yung sabi po natin, malapit na po ang anniversary natin. Di ba? October 1! Nakip-nakip na, nagilagay na dyan sa bonsa, saving-savings na. Ngayon, halimbawa, mayroon tayong trip to Macau, syempre, KKB din po yun. Kaya, ipon-ipon na. Kung gusto nyo po mag-ipon, hindi nyo lang sa akin, wala akong problema yun. Itatago ko sa inyo para hindi nyo magamit. Diba? Magalo tayo palawa. Palawagan na, ano lang, yung savings, hindi yung palawagan na may isa-isang nag-ano. Kasi aabuti po tayo hanggang 2020 na yan. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. So, po, Choir, kung sino pong gustong sumali sa choir ministry, sa ushering ministry, prayer ministry, lahat po kayo, yung mga maaga po, yung prayer ministry, si Sister Kati, ayan siya, si Mami Cora, praise God, ka, uh, Sister Kati, kahit mag-isa lang yan, praise the Lord, di ba? Amen. Di ba, Apa? <laughs> so, yun lang po, tawagin na po natin sa pastora para sa benediction. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Do you believe that anyone who is of God is blessed? Amen. And you are blessed. Amen. So I want to read for the Shalom Aaronic Benediction book from Numbers chapter 6, verses 23. As I put dito, Thus you shall bless the people of Israel. You shall say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Lord, we 
It's so in my sight. It's so I was born to see. You're so complete. No pretense again. You see in the darkness, I love in the rain. You trace in your love again. You're so complete. No pretense again.